I was very lucky to experience one of those periods when, when, when mathematics was sort of developing completely together with an application area. I mean, that was something similar with physics and analysis in the 17th, 18th, 19th century. But something similar with computer science and, and, uh, and discrete maths. I was sent to Germany when I was 16, East Germany, of course, to learn the German language. And I was rather bored, actually. And so I began to think and I decided that graph theory should be like algebra, should have some more structure to it. So I began to think about how I would multiply two graphs, for example. Came up with a definition which turns out to be the strong product, it's called. What do you think was the source of this looking down upon uh, combinatorics? It was true that combinatorics was relatively easily accessible. For some people, this meant that those who went to combinatorics were the lazy ones who didn't want to, to study. What do you think uh, changed this attitude? You know, computer science came, and with computer science, I mean, it, it was an unquestionably inter important topic. And of course, graph theory belongs to the mathematical foundations of, of computer science. And when, for example, the notions of uh, polynomial time, so P and NP came about, then, then uh, graph theory was the first, essentially, or one of the first few topics where, where it really penetrated and it really re redid the whole structure and, and, and taught us how to look at this. One problem that I'm very interested to know how you came to think about it and how eventually the collaboration went was your work on the short vectors in lattices and then the application to factoring polynomials. I think I had a Texas 59 calculator and I wrote a program on it uh, to, uh, to, to check these algorithms on maybe simultaneous approximation of root 2, root 3 and root 5. And then I tried all sorts of variations. I mean, whenever I had an idea, and then one seemed to be much faster than the others. And so it took me maybe a couple of weeks, and then I, I, I was able to prove that it in, it's indeed works in polynomial time. And then I wrote to Lenstra. He wrote back that in the meanwhile, he and his brother, I and Lenstra, have noticed that if you can do this, then actually they can factor polynomials over the rational field in polynomial time. And so we decided to write a joint paper. I mean, that's how it came about. What are the most interesting problems for you, problems you, you tried hard to solve and uh, you didn't or you, you're still trying? I mean, I now confess. I, I worked on Hardwiger's problem, got nowhere. I worked on the problem of trying to find a combinatorial algorithm for coloring a perfect graph optimally. I got nowhere. I, uh, we are on camera. I yes, <laughs> I would like to understand the possible uh, limits of extremal graphs. Uh, fix a problem, extremal problem, and then um, how do the large extremal graphs look like? What is the template for them? Why is a, is this set of combinatorial problems one which we cannot make progress on? Suppose that you ask Archimedes how to construct a regular seven gone. He probably would have said, well, I think it's not possible, but I, I have absolutely no idea how to prove something like that. And indeed, I mean, it took almost 2,000 years or about 2,000 years before it was proved that you cannot construct a regular seven gone with ruler and compass. I expect something like that happened with p equals np, so that uh, some, somewhere somebody will develop some tools, I don't know, maybe in probability theory, maybe in topology, maybe in algebraic geometry, and, and those tools, at some point somebody discovers that they will just imply that you cannot compute a Hamiltonian cycle in a graph in polynomial time. I think it's one of the really crucial, fundamental, open questions in, in, in the foundations of mathematics, whether, 
whether randomization gives anything more powerful in a, deter in a, in a situation where all the data are given uh, than, than uh, just deterministic algorithms.